H2K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Hello, welcome to H2K Infosys, the leaders in online training. This is Shah. I currently work as a project manager here in San Diego. Today, we shall learn how to create GUI using MS Visio. In the meantime, viewers, GUI is an abbreviation for graphical user interface. GUI basically explains the developer as to how the application or web interface will appear in its final form. Of course, added feature to this tool will allow the design to be exported in various format, which can be later included as part of requirement document. So, here my plan is to imitate the Gmail login page as you see on the screen. There are a set of steps or procedures to be followed to create such a GUI design. So, we shall bring one task at a time and parallelly let me demonstrate the same on the tool. Task number one, how to open Visio. So, for this viewers, go to start button, click on all programs, locate Microsoft Office folder, then locate Microsoft Office Visio 2007, double click on it. Once you double click on this, this is something that you should be able to see on the screen. Now here you find template categories. Under template categories, locate softwares and database folder. Double click on this. Once you double click on this, it will show you set of templates. Then locate window XP user interface as you see here. Double click on that. Once you double click on that, this is something that you should be able to see on the screen. As you know viewers, we are trying to imitate Gmail login page using Visio. This is my way of doing it. Of course, you will not find this written in any book as such. I always start from top left corner, that is from here. Okay. So the very first object I come across here is a rectangle which stretches all the way from left to right and it approximately measures one inch and it colors gray. So this would be my next task. That is task number two. That is to get a rectangle and stretch it and make it look like this with a gray color. Let me demonstrate the same. So for this students, go on to the Visio page. Here you find something called as search for shapes. Okay, and type the shape that you want. So that is in this case, the rectangle. Then click on the enter key. Once you do that, Visio gives you set of rectangles to choose from. So normally it takes few seconds. Let's wait for that. It's very normal that it takes few seconds. Let's wait for that. Let's wait. It's quite normal, viewers. So there you go. So now you get different set of rectangles. Now you choose the rectangle which matches your need. I think this one. So what I do is I drag this and position it accordingly like this. Okay. In the meantime, as you know, this rectangle should stretch all the way to the right. So what I do, I hold on to this holder and stretch this all the way to right. And so basically this is the shape what I wanted. Now what about the color? So this color is somewhat light bluish in color, but we want it gray. How to fix the color? So when I talk about color, there are three types of colors. One is called as text color, which is used to change the color of the text. The other one is called as line color, which is used to change the color of a line. The other one is called as fill color, which is used to change the color of a shape. For example, here rectangle is a shape. Also, we can say circle as a shape, square as a shape, triangle as a shape, octagon as a shape, pentagon as a shape and so on. So for now, let's see how to change the color of a rectangle which is a shape in this case. So what we do, 
first select the shape select the shape go on to fill color there's a small little tip that is pointing downwards you see here just click on that once you click on that it gives you different different colors to choose from I think we want this one maybe shade 15 percent which is somewhat grayish in color click on that so you can see that thing to be implemented on this rectangle next what about this borderline borderline is not expected because on Gmail login page when you see there is no borderline how to fix the borderline so this is how you do for that people select in the meantime people borderline it's a line basically so that's how I go under line again there's a small little tip that is pointing downwards click on that once you click on that you have an option called as no line so once you select that you see the line thing will disappear people this is how you get a rectangle that is a shape in this case this is how you resize it this is how you color it and this is how you get rid of the borderline H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.